Dagger, Nate Wagoner. <laughs> Jimmy is working on an online dating profile. He has not taken his meds today. <laughs> My self summary. I am a 26-year-old aspiring rapper, but most nights instead of making beats, I drink a 40 and watch Ultimate Fighting at my mother's house where I live, and I regret at age 10 calling her a hell beast because she is at least as tolerant as my ex-wife who is now in France where there are Frenchmen and who used to break car windows with me, who, who cheered me on during the Extreme Waffle Challenge, who, who on 9-11-01 Sorry, I hollered out, no me gusta, in like a sing-song voice in Spanish class when the tragedy was announced and no one laughed but me. <laughs> Whose cat famous murderer I saved from drowning, who I drove away by calling people Nazis at her office Christmas party and by touching her breasts in front of her parents, which former she still believes I know because I often call her in France on my mother's phone and she still picks up pretty frequently. I suspect because she knows how guilty I'll feel about it later when mom is going over the film, phone bills and says nothing but size. That's how they both operate. Contributed to her being downsized and which latter was apparently the last straw with her parents who had already been threatening for three years to cut her off if she and I planned on remaining married. They paid for the divorce. I honestly didn't know they didn't like me. And I'm saying, I'm saying I drove her into poverty, ladies. And she had to take this Peace Corps thing, helping the little, I guess, striped shirted mime children of the, like, the bad parts on the outskirts of Paris. <laughs> what I'm really good at. It'll be cool, man, Trevor had said. A break from responsibility. Even if you get lonely or, you know, sleep with the wrong girl or whatever. I think I'd like to sleep with at least one wrong girl, Jimmy had said. I'm sure you will. He will get there and he will talk to everyone like they're human beings and he will play apples to apples. And if they're not playing apples to apples, he will suggest it but not insist on it because he is funny when he plays that game. And also because the limitations of the game and the phrases on the cards force him into a crowd-pleasing vein of safe humor, something appropriate for the situation. Jimmy hopes for skinny girls in wraparound bras and big see-through shirts like Nets, obtrusive eye makeup, raccoon-like or Navajo-influenced or no makeup at all, stringy hair, a girl who brings her dog everywhere, Maybe somewhere else after, some douchebag's place where Jimmy and another person might do coke in a soapless bathroom where the lock doesn't quite work. Mm. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> All around him, everyone seems to be having sex constantly. Maybe not Phil and Josie. Even, or especially during his brief marriage, my god, marriage, past tense. He felt like every associate he'd had, every coworker, everyone he'd gone to school with, good looking or not, seemed to be regularly engaged in anonymous, hilariously meaningless encounters, threesomes, foursomes, semi-public type situations, affairs, arrangements, triangles, experiments, entanglements, only intimated and intuitive. Such that Jimmy had not just felt like a fool, but a lustful and hungry fool, trying to be subtle and asking for details, envious of other people's glamorous seeming problems and only dimly aware of the specifics. The dusk sky seems small and constricting. His ambition is a size perfectly appropriate for such a limited, albeit gorgeous, purple and pink and gray sky. How could dad or elementary school have told him to dream big when all that truly looms is this perfect inverted bauble of consolidated nothingness? Lusts to sate, consciousness to eliminate, now forming tendrils of this fog and reaching down to him. His mom's car's heater rattles ecstatically. He parallel parks on an incline, which, like the bulbous wet sadness he carries around, is only inconvenient. He gets there and everyone is fixated on the old Swamp Thing cartoon on Josie's TV, and this guy Willie has a bomb going. Jimmy knows he should not partake, but he does. All hope of venturing out is destroyed. Everyone's adherence to Earth's gravity is wildly out of proportion now to his or her actual mass. <laughs> Only Jimmy finds himself in the kitchen, skulking around like some primitive creature. Often he feels like this, like there's the real Jimmy who is controlling this monstrous puppet of himself. And it's the puppet that makes jokes about his penis, their penis, 
and then tried to kiss Josie last week, and then opens the freezer now and takes out a thing of pizza bites that doesn't belong to him. This rubbery flesh, these goofball fuck you clothes, the slight lisp, this nose, which even his mother makes cracks about, and it's her nose. <laughs> All necessary to pre present to people in order to get what he wants, even though he doesn't deserve what he wants. Applying for jobs, asking his parents for money, once even asking his then in-laws for money, spitting game at girls and just sweating and breathing. Hope Jimmy is still down there, whoever that is. That there's more than just monster puppet roaming around. That Jimmy can one day be full and satisfied, put the puppet away, and be free to be beautiful and well-mannered and loved. Thanks. Yeah!